Here's my all-time favorite photo book. Um, if my house was on fire, I'd uh, just grab this book, assuming that I could only grab one book. Um, this is the one that I would grab. It's Kikuji Kawada's The Map, Chizu. This is unfortunately only the reissue. Uh, so it comes in this box. Okay, and there is a little booklet with some text, blah blah. But I'm really only interested in showing you the book. I have to see whether I can set this up so you can actually see. This is it, it's the map. Alright, I might have to slide this a little. Okay. So this is not the original edition. The original edition came out in the 60s. You can find a lot of information about this book in Aperture's recent Japanese photo books of the 1960s and 70s. And um, this is it. Okay, so the you can see immediately uh, that it uses a very very stark black and white uh, with a lot of black and it also uses these foldouts <coughs> so every other page is one of these foldouts which makes looking at this book uh, more than just a simple experience you look at the photography of course but as a viewer you're also physically active because you have to do the work of opening up these photographs looking at them of course and then you close them down again you make things disappear so there's a viewing uh, of this book this part of a performance that's essential for for this book um, so what are we actually looking at these images here these abstract images are uh, photographs taken inside Hiroshima's nuclear dome. This is the uh, part of the concrete wall inside that dome. And uh, it's uh, very abstract, but it looks a little bit like a map. And that's where the book derives its name from, its name from. Um, and an essay that Kawada wrote for the book. He wrote about how we're in our times have uh, sort of lost our bearing. We don't really know where we're going any longer. Um, I don't have to convince you if you live in the United States right now. Um, that's a more than obvious statement, of course, um, you know, completely unrelated to this book. Um, where are we going? What are we doing? So this, of course, is a photograph of the sun through the dome. Going back to this book. So it combines the history of the book, as far as I remember, is that Kawada had these abstract photographs of maps, of, you know, the interiors, this stuff. And he had these... Uh, close-up photographs of all kinds of things and originally I think um, you have to look at the Aperture book but I think originally the the two bodies of work were supposed to be separate at least according to the photographer and then the publisher said no no we're gonna put this all together and we're gonna make a book that has everything together and it works amazingly well So there are still lives of objects that are directly or indirectly related to World War II and the consequences of World War II in Japan.
think this is a most convincing way to use photography to explore an, an issue without being too declarative about it. You could have all kinds of conversations about who is to blame for what and but I think what this book does is it shows that there are connections between all these different aspects. I think these are kamikaze pilots, all these different aspects of the war. <coughs> the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This is something we're not so used to seeing, I think. I think we've become used to uh, being presented a simple story where you go from A to B and some action has some direct consequence. And of course that's often the case, but in many cases, in many large issues, reality becomes way more complex and you end up in the situation where you don't really know what to do any longer, where one evil is maybe balanced by another evil and then you have to make a decision which one you pick or whether you can pick one. I'm sure my interpretation of this book might be different from other people's interpretation. Um, so this reissue was produced by Nasraeli Press in, I'm looking this up right now, I want to say uh, 2005 as a limited edition uh, with 500 copies. Um, I believe it's sold out, but I also know from uh, searching and looking online you can find copies of this book on eBay for uh, around three hundred dollars, I think, which of course is a lot of money. Uh, I wish the edition had been a little bit larger, and I'm sure there were people buying the book just to speculate on reselling it. But all that aside, you can still find this book and buy it if you like it. The original is selling for much more money. Uh, I believe there was a, a photo book auction at Christie's uh, a couple of years ago where the book, the original, sold for uh, um, $10,000 or something like that. Uh, that's the drawback of these fallout pages, of course. So just to show you one more spread, I think by now you got the idea. I'm not going to show you the whole book. There's, um, you can see I showed you about, I want to say, three quarters. The book comes, as I said, in this fold-out and there's a little booklet that comes with it. It has uh, text and an essay in English. And then there is the, the list of images and something Japanese, which I can't read, might be the same essay. So this is my favorite photo book of all times so far. I hope I will <coughs> see this book challenged because I want to see more great books. But right now this is it, Kikuji Kawada's The Map.